with snowboarding and how to not suck, kinda. This short little tutorial will give you a little info on snowboarding and what it's like to first start and how to push through the rough parts. I'd suggest you first try to get some lessons, whether they be from someone who does it as a job or family and friends. And as much as I'd like to give people lessons, I'm way too busy for that. All right, let's talk about the snowboard itself. There are these carving mark edges marked in red that are used to steer and control your speed. These two foot contraptions marked in blue are called bindings. They do the job of keeping your snowboard boots pressed snugly against your board so you can maneuver it. Okay, I feel like I should have said this earlier, but for snowboarding or skiing, you need the right equipment. My list would consist of a helmet so your noggin doesn't implode from you headbutting a tree going through glades, totally not referencing my own shortcomings, snowboarding boots, goggles, gloves, and a face mask, as well as a coat and snow pants so you don't get frostbite from wind chill. Once you have all these things, once you have all the things discussed, it's time for you to get out there and not suck, kinda. Before you get shredding, I think it's important to get yourself in the right mindset. You're going to fail and fall a lot. You will get angry and clear that this sucks at some point. I did, you probably will too, unless you have the patience of a saint and that's okay. We all have to start somewhere. But I beg of you, if you truly want to succeed, be stubborn. Prove to your own brain that you can do this and begrudgingly push yourself up and try again. Unless you broke a leg, then don't. I promise you that you can only get better the more you try. Coming from my own experience, I suggest you start out small, with bunny, green, or even blue runs to start improving mobility and controlling your snowboard. These things are very important for you with important for when you try to start trying harder and harder runs. Once you reach these harder runs, you can start to experiment with your own limits. You will find out what you need to improve on and what you can set aside for a later time. Though if I'm being honest, you can only improve. That's about all I can tell you without getting in depth. I would, I would if I could. I hope this tutorial or presentation of mine encourages a few people to get snowboarding a try, and even if it doesn't, thank you for listening.